Hello, this is the Perfect Prawn, and this is the Roborock S5, a robot vacuum cleaner unboxing and review, talking through the features of the robot vacuum, what I thought of it, how effective it is, and the general feeling that you get from this one. Actually, I'm quite surprised with this, the performance of this one as well. It's actually a really impressively good robot vacuum cleaner for the money. The value for money aspect it's got a lot of different functionalities to it which make it worthwhile you can see in the background i've got the iLife um, robot vacuum cleaner i've reviewed previously we've also currently got the Nito d4 connected in the house which will get reviewed soon and i've been through a number of other robot vacuums but this one is actually fairly decent it's not the best certainly but it is actually very impressive for the money and for the feature set that you get out of it and i was quite impressed with it and the uh, design of it is pretty nice as well. It's a smartphone controlled robot vacuum cleaner. There is unfortunately no voice compatibility at the moment so it's not compatible with Google Home, Amazon Alexa and those other services or anything like Siri. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The app itself is very flexible, different control schemes, so remote control, various manual settings and scheduled cleaning which is pretty important uh, as well as spot cleaning which I'll show you in a bit more depth later on. The robot vacuum itself has 13 different sensors, uh, LDS scan technology, SLAM algorithm technology, and various other real-time mapping systems, which basically mean it doesn't crash into things. Inside the box here, you'll see this unusual device, which connects to the charging dock that allows to make sure that you don't get your carpet wet when it's docked. Um, it's a moisture trap basically and the reason for that is because it has a advanced mopping system so you can also use this as a robot mop. Uh, I've seen this before basically as a water reservoir with a microfiber cloth that you attach to the bottom and then obviously you can use that on the hard floors. The robot goes around and wipes the floor as it goes. Now just like robot vacuum itself though mopping systems aren't amazingly effective you know this isn't meant to be a replacement for a standard vacuum cleaner or for general mopping but it does a pretty good job obviously with the mopping thing you need to block it into your uh, hard floor area you can't just set it loose otherwise you're going to end up with wiped carpet which is not ideal um, but it's not, not a bad little system works quite well and generally the robot vacuum side of things is the more impressive performance it's got quite a small reservoir for the mopping systems it's not too bad but it's not majorly going to blow your mind either i don't think if you're purchasing that that's what uh, this device that's what you're after anyway you can see that's the mopping system there i'll show you in a bit what that's like other frustration here is it only came with a european plug so for british um, people like myself it's a bit frustrating because i had to get an adapter it does, however, come with a spare filter, which is a winner. And another highlight of this device is the filters are also washable. Um, it, it does suggest that you replace them every so often, uh, as with any robot vacuum cleaner, or any vacuum cleaner for that matter. But the uh, fact that they're washable makes them last a lot longer. A lot of the manufacturers say, oh, you can't wash the filters, you have to just buy a replacement which means you've got an ongoing cost. Now with robot vacuum cleaners, they're generally quite expensive. So having to spend extra regularly on new filters is a bit of a frustration. So it's nice to be able to have some that you can wash and clean, you know, you blow out all the dust and whatnot quite easily. The design is also very nice. It's got this sleek white design to it, which is quite flash. Um, usually you have uh, black and gray kind of colors on the robot vacuum cleaners. So it's quite nice to see a white one. The finish looks really good. Uh, stands out from the rest. It also uh, it's quite sleek, quite sleekly designed. It's spinning little sensors on top, which is intriguing, and the bump rails around the side. And it also has one single side brush that spins at the front, and it has a large brush underneath, which I'll show in a bit. Which also has a brush guard, which basically means it stops it from getting clogged up, which is nice. So it's just little touches like that that make a big difference actually, because you find. When you've got a um, brush guard on it, if you don't have one, you can find that things get stuck in it. So if you look at the previous video I did on the iLife, that doesn't have it. just got, has a big hole where it sucks things up. And that is a problem I found because it would suck up uh, with kids' socks, random toys, letters, things like that. And it would get clogged up and it wouldn't 
be able to tell you that it was clogged up so it would just carry on going round with this thing stuck in its vents and it wouldn't actually be able to do very good clean because of it which could be quite frustrating this one doesn't have that problem because you can see here there, there you see underneath the big uh, orange brush and then in the guard over the top of it which basically has some metal lines in it which stop anything getting clogged in there it's nice and easy nice big wheels only the one side brush sometimes you see two but it does a fairly decent job uh, lift up and underneath you have the dust tray higher point here is the dust tray itself is quite small to find but you're regularly emptying these sorts of robot vacuums anyway so it's not a big problem you can see the filter pops in you can open it on one side or you can take the filter off and open it the other side so there's two ways of opening it and it even says on it that the filter's washable you'll be able to see that uh, in the video perhaps there you go you can open it easily that way and then empty it out and that's a good way to get the filter out to clean it as well and you've got a spare so you can wash one and then dry that off and then replace it with the other one temporarily while you wait for it to dry out and then put it back again really easy open system flap opens up take the dust tray out empty it another highlight here is the little tool you see the little tool inside here now you, you see these quite a lot with a little brush on them but this one's actually quite unusual because it also has a little knife on it and there's a little sharp blade as you can just see in here there which basically means you can use that to clean the big brush underneath as you'd see with most vacuum cleaners you'll see it gets caught with hair wrapped around it when it goes around and cleaning it can be a bit of a pain trying to peel it off with your fingers this blade you can just run along the edge of the brush and that cuts all the hair off and any fiber that gets caught on it it's actually quite clever i've not seen that before uh, very often i've seen it once on one other robot vacuum cleaner but that's a really nice design you can see here the spinning sensor the orange sensor on top so it's got a few different sensors going at different angles stop it crashing into things, falling down stairs and whatever else. Now this robot vacuum is interesting because it's got an intelligent mapping system which means it maps your house as it goes around. It does a map every time it goes out as well. So that means if your house changes, if you're moving furniture around or if kids toys get moved in and out or if table and chairs get moved in the kitchen for example, it will account for that as it goes which is quite cool. It also means that you can look at the map on your phone and send the robot out to do a spot clean in a specific area. So you get a, a nice little map and you've got easy access to send the robot out. You don't have to pick it up and move it there or, and you can do it with a remote control that's built into the app but this is another way of doing it. It also allows for a zone cleaning mode, which I really like. So um, on scheduled cleans, which I'll go into in a bit more depth, the robot goes out on one sweep of the house and then it comes back and, and stops. But if you wanted to clean a particular room and you wanted to do a good clean on it, you can set to zone clearing mode. Zone clearing allows you to set a area on the map, pick that area, select the sort of size that you want with pinch and zoom and then tell the robot to go and clean that area and you can tell it to go and sweep over it up to three times so you can sweep that room three times and before it comes back to the dock another highlight of this robot vacuum cleaner I found is it goes back to its dock really easy I never had any problems with it getting stuck and not being able to get back you can see here we have the reservoir now attached to it is the microfiber cloth that just peels off nice and easily and then it slides in uh, the sides there you can uh, wash that as well and clean it so it's pretty easy to clean just fill that with a bit of water attach it underneath put it in a room with hard flooring and set it off on a standard uh, mopping clean so there's within the app settings that then as i said goes up and down the floors wiping the floors as it goes you also get a spare cleaning cloth much like the spare filter so you've always got one spare if you're washing one, uh, one of the other ones I'm waiting for it to dry or just want to get it clean. Now to show you in a bit more depth what it's like you can see on top we have the button here for starting just press that and it starts off on a clean. The one on the left starts it for a spot clean and the one on the right sends it back to the charger. Generally speaking you're either using scheduled cleans using the app or you can just tap that button to send it off on a clean when you want to which is really easy. Uh, pressing it again pauses it and then pressing the back to charger 
button or send it back to its dock nice and easily. Now when this robot comes out for its clean, it will go around the edges of the room first. So it's sussing out what the room looks like in terms of the edge of the room. It goes around the edge and then it will start to go and clean in the middle. And you can see this is an example of the map on my phone. Uh, it shows you it's or mapping as it goes. Intelligent mapping system means it's mapped before, but now it's mapping again, so it maps each time. This also means that you could move it between areas in your house, say lower level and top level um, floors, easily, and it'll just map those and account for it. You can also pause it mid clean and send it to a specific area, as you can see here. You press a button and it then just goes to that specific point. So I've told it to just go in front of me, which is an easy way to get it to move to a different room without having to pick it up. So you've got minimum interference with it. It's not very heavy. It's not like it's a problem to pick up, but you can also send it to a spot clean from that area. Or as I said, you can set a zone clean up from the map as well, or you can pause it and send it to go back to the dock. Within the app, you also get a history of cleaning, what it's been doing, how long it took to clean, and how much juice it's got left and things like that. It also gives you a long history of what that's like, uh, you know, how long it's done, how much space it's cleaned, etc. And now I've had this robot vacuum cleaner going for uh, about a month now, actually, and, uh, and I'm happy to attest that it is very good and regularly emptying out the bin. Uh, as I was saying earlier, this is the blade that you can use to cut hair off and fibres from the inside it. Nice little tool, really easy. I mean, it's funny to be uh, a little highlight for the thing, but it's actually an impressive little device that does a good job. Uh, you need to maintain it, obviously. The important part of running a robot vacuum cleaner is to keep on top of cleaning it yourself. If it's, you've got a dirty vacuum, it's not going to work cleaning the house properly. You can see underneath there are various sensors to make sure it knows where it's going. And like I said, I've had no problems with it finding its dock. As long as the floors are clear enough and you don't uh, put things in its way so it can't get between rooms, it really does a good job of going to the dock and going out for its daily cleaning and then coming back again. I've seen that quite a few that will get stuck and have problems um, but this one doesn't seem to do it. It will, of course, get things tied up in its wheel and its brushes and its wheels if you leave obstacles on the floor. Um, that happens with all robot vacuum cleaners. You can see here there are various different settings. There's a quiet, balanced, uh, turbo and max cleaning modes and also a mopping mode. There's a variety of different settings within the app that allows you to change voices. Most of them are Asian. There's also Italian, French, and a single English one, unfortunately. It would be amazing if you could get celebrity voices for your robot vacuum cleaner, but I suppose that would cost a fair amount of money. It cleans for up to 150 minutes. And during testing, I found that for the most part, it probably did about 20 minutes of cleaning in my house. Obviously, that's going to vary depending on how big your house is but like I said it only goes out once which is a bit of a strange one because you can schedule the clean up uh, on a daily basis and uh, you can have you can send it out for multiple scheduled cleans and you can change what time you want it to come out on each day as well so you get a real deep dive into the settings but with a clean it only comes out once it only comes out once and cleans and then it goes back um, which is unusual because I've seen the iLife for example just keeps on cleaning until it runs out of battery then it goes back to its charger Whereas this one just cleans and it thinks it's cleaned enough and then it goes back. Now, inevitably, one clean is not enough. However, if you're doing that on a daily basis, it probably is. So 20 minute clean back to the charger, and that's probably fine. It does a reasonably good job of cleaning, actually. Pretty impressive. Uh, I just thought that was quite strange. However, if you do feel like you want uh, the robot to stay out more and do like 40 minutes or 50 minutes or an hour of cleaning, you can basically... Uh, set more schedules one after each other so that it keeps going and doesn't stop you can also use the zone clean up to cover the entire house and then tell it to clean three times if you set the zone clean up on here you can see you can drag it over the area like i said before and then you can set it up to a maximum of three times um, so you can set it to clean the entire house or entire floor that it's on up to three times nice and easily 
which is a really good way of doing it if you're worried about uh, only going over it once. But with a real vacuum cleaner, if it's going out on a daily basis, uh, once a day is usually enough. And I did find I was emptying this on a daily or bi-daily basis, which means that it does a really effect effective job and uh, basically means that you get a really decent clean. The robot is just a little bit over £400, which is really cheap, especially for all the different functionality that this robot offers. You see other robots with similar functionality, seven, eight, nine hundred pounds so it's really decent. It's a very intelligent robot vacuum cleaner from a company you might not have heard of, but it shouldn't be overlooked. This is definitely one worth looking at. And look at that clean carpet as well. This has been the Provoke Prawn. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe and come back for more in future.